guys, welcome back to my channel. Share with you guys what my favourites are. Starting off with beauty. My first favourite is the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash Mascara. The Makeup Forever Smoky Lash Mascara. This is ultimate favourite mascara. It literally makes my eyelashes feel and look incredible. I can't fault this. I've never, I haven't tried any other, oh yeah I have, the Benefit Mascara, which is good as well, but this one is my ultimate up there, top tier designer mascara, designer high end mascara, because I can't, I haven't, I'm yet to find my drugstore favourite if I'm being honest like I always use a really good mascara because I know I'm going to get the payoff I do have a drugstore mascara but me and that mascara we don't get on man then we've got the um sorry about my voice we've got the revolution conceal and define full coverage conceal and contour concealer in the shade C7. This concealer is up there with some of the high end concealers. I haven't tried the Tarte Shape Tape, but everyone says this is on form with that. And I don't need to buy the Tarte Shape Shape. Tarte. Tarte Shape Tape if this is good enough. So. Yeah, I, but I do like the NARS cream, Creamy Radiant Concealer. I'm in the shade Custard in that, but this is what I use and it's my favourite. Then another favourite of mine beauty wise is the Precisely My Brow Pencil. I'm the shade 5. It is for my brows, I don't want to do much, just want to lightly define them. And you can either lightly or heavily define them. And this is the product for that. I haven't tried anything else with my brows. I've never done anything with my brows. Like tinting or anything like that. So this just helps maintain shape, I'd say. I don't really go drawing it on like slugs. I just lightly feather it through. And that's why it lasts me longer. I am nearly finished and nearly run out of it. But it comes with a brush on the end. And then the other end is obviously the product. But I would recommend this if you're just starting out with brows, because this is what I use when I first started out with doing my brows and I don't I haven't touched anything else. Or I just put a bit of clear gel or tinted gel through. That's it. Then going on to my skincare favourites, I've got the Midnight Recovery Concentrate by Kills. I've got just a little bit over half, but practically half left. This, put it on at night before you go to bed after you've done everything else, the last step in your routine. This will, sometimes it can bring out your spots just so it clears everything up, but it does help with any scarring you've got from spots. So I really highly recommend investing in this if you want a good serum. Then I've got the Ole Hendrickson Dark Spot Toner. This, I'm telling you now, smells like lemonade. It's amazing. Not because it smells like lemonade, but it's, it just, you smell so clean when you use it, but not just smelling clean, it actually works. It gets rid. I had such dark, not really. I somehow I'm over exaggerating, over exaggerating. But I had really dark. Every spot I got on my chin turned into like scarring dark spot. So I thought I need to invest in something for dark spots. Even though the kills midnight recovery serum was doing its thing, I thought I needed like a, t like a toner, like a dark spot toner. 
I don't use any other toner. This is the toner I use, and I use it at night time only. Um, just because it's my skin in the morning, I don't want it on in the day. Sensitive skin and dry and stuff. So, I don't want to dry out my skin too much. So, this is the one if you want to get rid of your dark spots. I've recommended this, and it is a top seller as well, I think. So, yeah. Then I've got the Lush Sleepy Body Lotion. This stuff... When I've got like a little bit of anxiety or anything or worrying about something or I just basically when I'm in bed I'm ready to sleep and I can't sleep. Put a bit of this on, I put it on my wrists, a little bit on my chest and I just feel it's like a comforter for me. Like this really comforts me and a lot of people have recommended it and I'm recommending it because it does work and it does relax you. And make you sleepy in the name. <laughs> then my favourite perfume of the year is Gucci Guilty. This is my new scent of the year. I just feel so luxurious when I wear it. Now, that sounds so cliche because it's Gucci, but no, I feel really good about myself when I wear this and yeah. Thanks to my fiance for getting it for me because I absolutely love it. Then, going on to my favourite book of the year is not, I'm not saying I have only just started reading this one, as you can see, but this author is literally the best writer, or up there with the best writer because I read a book yesterday and that changed my life that book and that sounds so cringe to say but it made me think and think and it made me focus on my mind but this author if you like a thriller these books could you not there's three of them i've read one are amazing like oh, i can't get enough of them i want her to bring out more there you go, and there's the author. I write it down below in the comment in the comments. I write it down in the box below the author's name because we're next door. If you want to type that in, Ellie Darby recommended it. I read it. I'm recommending it. Go and get it. Then talking about YouTubers, my favourite YouTubers at the moment, not at the moment, but oh yeah, they're the ones I've wanted to watch. And Liv Guy is one of my favourites to watch. She's the same age as me, she has a son, and watching her grow is amazing, and I love her hauls and her day-to-day -day life vlogs, I just love it. And her holidays, where she's been to, the trips she's been to are amazing. Uh, are amazing. And Ellie Darby, she's so successful at the moment, like, she's doing so well for her, for herself, sorry, and she, just her collection that she's just brought out, the Angel Collection, is incredible. I haven't brought any myself, I will be, when I can, but, yeah, she's just amazing, her videos and her house is just beautiful. <coughs> Georgia May is another one. I love her haul videos. And the one with her and her nan absolutely cracked me up. But yeah, she's doing well. She's one of my favorites. And Gemma Miles, she, I love her Christmassy videos. Not just her Christmassy videos, but all year round, like her hauls, morning routines, evening routines, you name it. She's one to watch out for as well. So they are my yearly favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye guys.